In this video, we'll show you how to set up skills and monitor and analyze usage for Now Assist in the Now Assist Admin Console. In this context, skills are generative AI-powered tools that Now Assist leverages to help your users get their work done faster. The Now Assist Admin Console provides you with one convenient interface for setting up and monitoring the Now Assist panel and skills. First, you start by installing plugins for the products your organization uses. Second, you explore skills to see what's available. Third, you set up the skills your users need. And finally, you monitor and analyze usage across the Now platform. Let's jump into an example. From the home page, we browse for Now Assist plugins to add generative AI capabilities to the instance. These plugins are available for technology, customer, employee, and creator workflows. In our case, we'll review the customer plugins. The plugins page shows summaries of the available and installed plugins for this workflow. This one, now assists for CSM, supports case, chat, and knowledge for customer service. Let's get it. From the install modal, we're directed to the Service Now store, which launches in a new browser tab. There, we install the plugin. After it's installed, we return to the console page and click refresh to check the installation status. The modal confirms that the plugin is successfully installed, and we're prompted to go to the Now Assist panel to turn it on. The Now Assist panel is a globally accessible AI-powered assistant in Next Experience Unified Navigation that users can access to summarize and draft content. The Admin Console Settings page displays the Now Assist panel tab, where we can learn more about the panel and turn it on. Next, we review the features and skills for the plugin we just installed. The Now Assist Features page opens on the corresponding workflow tab. It displays a summary of the plugins we installed and the skills they provide. For each one, we click View Details to learn more. The top of the Features page provides a brief overview of the feature and what product the skill is associated with. Under the summary, cards for available skills we haven't yet activated display and any active skills appear below. Selecting Activate Skill opens the guided setup for the skill. Each skill is set up a bit differently, but here, the first step is choosing when and how the skill will be triggered to generate a chat summary. Let's leave them all toggled on and click Save and Continue. For this skill, the next step is to choose the input data, which will be used by the generative AI model to create the chat summary. We can select additional data sources or leave the default source selected. Now we choose where to display the skill by turning the display toggles on or off. Choices are, in the product itself, in the Now Assist panel, or both. Clicking the chevron to the right of the Now Assist panel display toggle expands the role options, allowing us to determine who will be able to access this skill in the panel. We'll turn the display options on and leave the default role. Before we activate the skill, we review the values we just entered. We're happy with our choices, so let's activate it. The notification says the skill is now active, so we're prompted to return to the feature page for this skill. Back on the feature page, we see which skills are active and which ones we can activate. As soon as a skill is activated, ServiceNow starts to record skill performance and executions. The analytics page displays usage metrics on skill usage across products. We can view usage numbers at an aggregate level or choose to view usage per skill. An action is one execution of a generative AI task either in product or in the analysis panel. The analysis summary section graphically displays how many plugins we've installed and what skills our users are leveraging. On the account page, we can see our licensing details and the status of data sharing. From here, we can also opt out of data sharing if we choose. We'll leave data sharing on, which helps improve the ServiceNow models. And we can return to the Now Assist console anytime to install more plugins and set up the skills for them. The Now Assist Admin console gives you the power to leverage and manage generative AI-powered features across the Now platform. To learn more, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.